it's a paper couch. This is really funny and also really weird. And now it's white. Yo, check this out. It was so worth it. Oh my goodness. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Tuesday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is part two of my couch makeover. So let's get it. By the way, all the DIY projects right here, watch them all. But before we get started, love us out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. Okay, my last vlog. Well, I. I tried to do it the lazy way, but it failed. The rose just got ripped out, so I was like, okay, let's go for it all the way. Let's go for the shortening and for the rising and mwah, pimp this couch. So yeah, let's get to this build. It's the next day, I got myself, well, I bought two four meter long wooden beams, cut them to length, 170 centimeters. I will put one of them up here, one of them down here inside one of them here and the fourth one i don't know i also removed one of these plates this is what it looks like from the inside it's just like this weird paper stuff it's a paper couch i need to replace these it shouldn't be too hard so let's get to work by the way i can just cut it with this exacto knife it's kind of crazy but it's actually working <laughs> This is a better way actually. I can't hold this knife any longer. It's so painful. <laughs> done with the cutting and I'm also done with this back plate, well with the backrest. I already screwed on these on both sides of course and then I also inserted a wooden beam and bolted it in place with way too many screws, I guess. But yeah, this should make it way more stable. This is what it looks like. Ah, oh, what a mess. Okay, I'm done with the lower one as well. Replace these two. And another possibility for another beam would be right here across, because this thing is held in place only by two screws right here and right here. This one right here and this one back here and also in here. That's definitely another weak link. Okay, so I'm almost there. Now this position I was talking about right here and you can also clearly see how bulged out this thing already is. So I think right here would be a good position and another one right here. Progress, this is gonna be funny to watch. As I said, this, there is a massive bulge right here. So I pushed it down, drill the hole right here. Then I pushed it down, drill the hole right here. Now I screwed in this screw and now this thing is up in the air and it's really springy and it's really hard to push it down. It's gonna be fun. If it's even possible for me to do this. Oh god. Oh. oh, this is crazy. But I think I did it. Oh. Oh. Check this out. No more bulge. This is crazy. And here we go, it's done. I used three beams, one here, one here, and the last one right here. As you can see, this one with only screws at the ends. Friggin' rolls right here, right here, of course. And uh, yeah, it's almost too thin, talking about this beam, so I drilled the screws kind of like this so this should work all in all there are way more screws now i exchanged all of them i'm still missing a few washers so i'm missing like five washers but for now it's yeah doesn't really matter i'm not that experienced with wood i only built my diy fold able bed check it out right here but yeah it seems to be quite sturdy yeah i think i think that should do so let's turn it over Okay, here it is. This is really funny and also really weird. My couch is now on rolls. Wow. I of course also need to cut the foam and I also plan on getting rid of this nasty black cover. I will just paint this wall white. The other one same. Let's see. So yeah, that's the foam right here. It's almost back together, almost usable. 
Okay, this is it with this nasty black topper, topper thingy. I was able to just tuck in all the excess. Wow, it's actually looking like a couch again. What the heck? Okay, this is definitely, oh no, freaking hell. But other than that, my couch has been restored. I will just let it be like this for now until I figure out something better for this uh, cover solution. It's also messing with the rolls. And again, I wanted to rise it up to fit this robot vacuum underneath it. And I had to shorten it quite a bit to make space for the fridge. Hell yeah, freaking sweet. Oh boy. Oh yes. So nice, let's go. And I'm also going to place the stock back there. Heck yeah, so nice. Oh yeah, you can also lock these right here. Oh, god damn it, what the heck. Okay, so how stable is it? Oh wow, wow, what? It is actually pretty stable. Oh my goodness, how is this possible? But I would probably still go with four locking wheels for the bed, just to be safe. I just had something to eat on this couch and when I rolled forward, I noticed that <laughs> the vacuum got strangled by this. This string right here got hooked on the LiDAR dome and it's constantly messing with this wheel right here. So I will just take it off and See what it looks like without it. Okay, here we go. I just removed this black cover, and yeah, it's looking, it's looking quite okay. The white cover, it's covering up all, all this yellow, nasty yellow foam stuff. And I now just need to paint this and this down here and the other side. So that should do actually. Done with the painting. <laughs> it's white, and now it's white. Let's go. Okay. Ah. Oh god, I just woke up, man. Yo, check this out. It was so worth it. Oh my goodness. Let's go. From the side, from the back, it's all white. It's looking so nice. So much better than before. Unbelievable. Let's go. Oh, heck yeah. Yet another milestone left behind me, I guess. It was about time, as always. And I will get to a more in-depth review in my next vlog. You can check it out right here if you're interested. But yeah, all in all, I'm hella proud. It turned out pretty good. And it's looking so much better. It's, I mean, it's like, it's looking, it's looking, it's looking good. So yeah, I will see you in the next vlog. Taking a closer look at this baby, rolling it around and stuff. So yeah, that's it for this one. Smash the like button the way I smash my hands in the process of cutting the cardboard with a X-Acto knife. So stupid. What am I even doing? Bang the bell like pa, to never miss DIY projects. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.